What is up, all you sexy nerds? I am Wildfire One. This is episode 109 of season six. With me today, as always, Grizzly McBee. What's up, y'all? Oh, uh, we haven't had a podcast for a few weeks. Some stuff has yeah, been going on. It, it, it's been a little while. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, mostly because I've been out of state. I went to go visit some family. So I went to Texas. I got to be a cowboy for a little bit. And it was a good trip. The, I got to visit the Alamo, and uh, I got a coonskin hat. But I got a, I got this from the Alamo, and I kept... I was looking at them, and I was talking to my dad while we were there, and, and the Alamo was badass. I, it was a really cool place to it visit. It is really cool. I've been yeah. there a few times. Um, but anyway, I was talking to my dad, and I was like, you know what? There's like there's, Those are like way overpriced. And I'm like, I can just buy it offline. And then I go, you know, but I can't say I got it from the Alamo. So, <laughs> so I fucking, I, I just manned up and did it. I bought it and I was like, okay, fuck it. So I bought it and I'm happy that I got well, it. Anyway, most of the reason we haven't been doing a podcast is because I've been out. I've been out of commission because of that. And uh, just so you guys know, there you go. Ta-da, that's what's going on. And then we're finally doing this podcast, uh, kind of getting back into the groove of things, a way out. Yes. Which uh, we've been, we've been airing, you know, since we're done with Doki Doki, I was I was wondering what we can do next, and Grizz and I had played this shit. This game, this gameplay is how long? Like last year? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Like midsummer last year, I think. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even I've around had a this few time. People, I've, I've had a few people message me, ask me how I like a way out and if they should play it and how far into the game we've gotten. And oh, we beat I was it. like, uh, yeah, we we, we beat it in. Two, two days. days. Yeah, it was two days. Uh, we streamed year. it. That's all. That's all the streaming. That's all. That's all. Yeah. All that video yeah. is from us streaming. It was a good game, but that's for another time. Anything new that you want to talk about there, Riz Mizzle? Uh, I know that we have some plans for the future with a few things. Um, I've come up with some ideas. True's come up. You've come up with some ideas. Yeah. Um. I guess since we've been talking about it right beforehand and last night most of the day uh in the future we will be doing a game of thrones podcast we like okay okay before we get too far into this i was one of those guys that's never seen an episode of game of thrones and there's two reasons for twofold why i haven't one i don't have hbo i'm a broke yeah, bitch i can't here. afford that same i here. can't afford yeah. cable and I mean, I got I got Netflix and I've got Hulu. So uh, a good friend of mine from work, you know who you are, wanted to give me all of his episodes or all of the seasons to watch that he had, and uh, so I was like, I just told him, let, let me one, uh, season one season at a time. So I I just started watching. This was three months ago. He lent this, but I hadn't watched it because I knew as soon as I started watching it that I would be like a crackhead. I'd want to binge watch it and just not hold stop. Like a good example is today I was watching it before work and I was I didn't want to go to work. <laughs> I wanted I wanted to sit there and watch this fucking show. I needed to know what was happening next. Well, luckily for me, I can watch it at work. Well, fuck you so for I that. I watch all of season two. Yeah, see, I'm on one. I'm on like episode five of season one. And <coughs> but anyway. Uh, so you guys can look forward to something like that here in the future. We're going to do something. Uh, I'm We're kind of watching them, and we're going from there. And I know there's, what, eight seasons? You know, we'll we'll get to that. And when we do, we'll give you our, our unbiased opinion. And I, so far, though, I'm just, I'm, I'm like a fucking babe to a tee. Give me more. I want that shit. That is, it is a fucking amazing show. And just season one. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know that we've also talked about doing another video series kind of like what we did with Doki Doki kind of yeah. like what we're doing with uh, a way out yeah but it, it's gonna be fun we have a, we have kind of a, a I guess you can call it a survivor series idea going on uh, with some of the games that we've been playing there's another thing I mean there's I've, I've come up with a few ideas over the over the, actually over the span of a few weeks uh, that I want to do and I've talked to the guys about uh, that I can get to do this with and so and then again that'll be another announcement that we make much later on 
I know True and I have some ideas coming into the mix. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll get to that. You know, you, we'll see what we got in the future. Without for, further ado, I guess we'll talk about what we're here to talk about. And we're here to talk about Conan Exiles. And this is a game that we got introduced to through the PlayStation Network. It was PlayStation free Network last month. For free. Yeah. yeah. It was free last month. And I, it, uh, to be honest with you, it's been on my, um, my wish list on steam since it came out i was very interested in it and you know i love my conan franchise and uh i told this guy about it and i honestly i don't think he he thought he'd like it at first and then uh we got to playing it now he's addicted yeah yeah if you've watched the last few podcasts you know that i am a huge fan of apex Legends. I still play Apex from time to time, but now a majority of the time is Conan Exile. It's addicting. So the basic story of this game is you, you're you're more or less condemned. You're you're an exile because of something you did, or you, whether you did it or not is beside the point. Um, you get to make your own character and make them how you look, and then. <laughs> There's nudity in this game. Just a heads up, guys. Yes, yes. Uh, we found that out by accident, and oh man, was that was that? Did that make for a weird stream? Uh, our buddy Baby Girl of Doom uh, played with us, and she of course made a female character, and and she had died one of the thousand times that she died in that game. And next thing you know, she's she's walking up on us, and she's topless. So uh, that made for an interesting gameplay. Mm-hmm. You know. Rick, put your shirt on. I'm on Twitch. Hurry. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, get dressed, get dressed. What the fuck's wrong with you? Um, I can't look away. <laughs> <laughs> your nipples are so perky. But, uh, so, so Grizz, let's start with, like, what, what were your first thoughts of the game? Well, you know, I like the fact that you can almost completely customize your character. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to make him tall, make him tall. You want to make him short, make him short. Uh... On the PC then, version, you can give them a big wiener. Because there's actually, I yeah. think, there's actually a full-on nudity thing in, in some of the other versions of this game. I think, yeah, I think. but unfortunately, PlayStation only has partial. Well, you know, it's okay. I don't want to walk around seeing schlong everywhere, so, you know, yeah, I'm, but I'm good with partial. Know, sometimes you just want to make your guy with, you know, hitting his knee. That way he has a secondary weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Bludgeon! <laughs> oh man, that yeah. Step back, fool! I will beat you to death with the dip of my tip of my dick, dip of my I, dick. I like the fact that you know they've got these different races. Oh yeah, that you can choose from. Each one has and like they yeah. Also have different religions that you can choose from. Mm-hmm. You know, different gods that you you pray to or, or what have you, and you can build. All sorts of shit. No, I mean, like, for your god, the shrines, there you go. Oh. Your eyes rolled in the back of your head for a second there. It's been a long day. I, I forgot. I, I was a little something. worried about you for a second. I thought you went to, like, some sort of, like, you got possessed or something. You're like, a, Grizzly McBee's not here. It's only Zool. <laughs> you can build a shrine to your god. And, you know, with each different shrine... Like, you're only allowed to build your shrine for your god. Yeah, and I, I like that. It's pretty cool. I mean, uh, it, it, there's a lot of adventuring in this game. It's fun. I oh, mean, yeah. I like the trophies. You, you kill you kill oh, different monsters, creatures, different yes. animals. And if you cut off their head, you don't always get the head, but if you cut off their head, you can mount them on your wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's, I think it's a... It's a uh, it's a random number generator kind of thing if you get the head yeah. or not. But it's uh you know, you always get the head eventually and it's fun as fuck. Mm. It's really cool. Uh what do you have any good stories that you can remember off the top of your head? Uh maybe the fact that we spent almost three hours between four of us trying to kill that freaking boss crocodile that kept oh, eating us. Oh yeah. Oh fuck that thing. We got the Ooh. we got the trophy for it though. Not yeah. the head trophy, but the trophy, like the the achievement on the on the PlayStation. That was kind of fun. Oh, the, the freaking it. spider last night. Oh man, oh, that thing. That yeah, you know suck. what? Games don't that generally suck. scare me. Creatures in games don't generally scare me, but he's like, 
oh my god, there's a spider, and my dumb ass is curious, so I gotta go check it out. And then I see this thing coming at me, and I'm, I literally get this fear like... house. I get this fear like like it's really coming at me, and I'm I'm just I'm like screaming. I'm like ah, ah help me! I'm gonna die! <laughs> so we all team up on this thing, and we after about twenty minutes of attacking it, we killed it, and it was it was horrifying. But it was you know stuff like that is really cool. Uh, the fact that you can go around, and you just you get to you know you get to learn to make your own weapons. You make uh, you, I mean you go from like something super super primitive to iron you know, stone to steel to iron steel yeah mm-hmm. um eventually you get obsidian stuff mm-hmm. that stuff doesn't like break that. um depending on your your god um in their sh- in the shrine you, once you get it you know leveled up enough with enough sacrifices or what have you then you get godly weapon um, that, you know, of course you have to find the materials for in the world. Uh, well, you can even unlock you can craft it. You can even unlock certain things from like doing missions or not uh, call them missions, but like, uh, like we killed that witch bitch yesterday and we got like stuff that we got to lock stuff that we can make. And that was really, yeah. cool. uh, the game it's, it's very grindy. But it's fun. It's it's almost kind of MMORPG esque, but not necessarily yeah. in that grandiose fashion. It's a, uh, it's it's, in my opinion, it's just one of those good games you just play with your friends. You know, you get a good four plus or two, three people, four people, depending on how how high how much you can put in there, and play and just and just build. What are, what's your what if you have a complaint about this game so far? What would it be? The complaint for me would probably be the the hunger and thirst. It drains so fast. And think, in certain parts of the map, there is no fucking food whatsoever. True. I've died several times just playing when I first started playing a game because I couldn't find water. Uh, my big complaint is this, because remember in my game, because we, we have at least two different games going on so far... In my game, we built so much in one area that, like, things despawn. Like, the yeah, walls despawn. Yeah. That's my big like, complaint. It, the walls in my house, because, like, okay, I work I work nights, so during the day, you know, before Wild goes to work or whatever, or, you know, after he got back from, from his trip to Texas, him and baby girl doom were on all day every day playing game we got addicted yeah the for, game's addicted. for a few days right and all i had was you know a nice little you know a little ranchero house. a little cute little ranchero um, you know you know i Con- get condo. from work and jump on for a little bit and there's this massive you know new york city block fucking building taking up like two whole fucking mountains. No, well, we're, we're, it's Clan Groinfist. Come on. Yeah. For Clan yeah. Groinfist, it's gotta it's gotta be huge and, and it's so, gotta blow so, people's mind. Yeah, for, for for all all three and a half of us. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> three and a half of us. So, <laughs> uh, so baby girl Doom leaves and it's just wild myself. So I was like, hey, you know, I want to upgrade my house. So we upgrade my house, you know, make it bigger, better. Oh, we pimp that put shit. Put a whole, a whole wall through it, uh, uh, you know, a whole hall, and you know, made it real nice, big, beautiful. We save the game and leave. Wild jumps on what, like four hours later? No, it was the next day. Was it the next day? Yeah. I, I sort that of. Was that, it system. was. A, it was the next day. I think it was before work. Oh. So Wild gets on and. Two of my walls are fucking completely gone. Well, I mean, don't feel bad. I worked hard on. The, we have this cathedral that we, me and me and yeah. Baby Girl Doom made, and it's uh, we call it, it's it, it's it's the peen the Peni worship cathedral because it's it's literally around this giant church rock. of the Peni. Yeah, it's literally around this giant rock dick looking thing. So we uh, yeah, the church of the Peni. So we named it that, and. Uh, I, I worked my ass off on this fucking roof on this thing. 
<laughs> like for hours and the roof like getting the roof to work and getting things to fit and because if you don't if you don't if it, it, you gotta it's gotta be structurally sound in this game like if there's you just can't put yeah. shit you know put shit on there unless there's something there's keeping it up fillers. yeah it, it has to be connected to a foundation it's gotta be found yeah it's yep. gotta be a foundation so or pillars away. keeping it up yeah, yeah exactly so I work my ass off to get this fucking thing on and working. And I come back the next day and like a good portion of it is missing. So I replace it and he we replace his wall and then we stop again and come back and it, it's just fucking gone. It, it, it's gone again. Yeah. So we're like, fuck this. We're done. I'm not, I, I did. I'm like, I'm not replacing this. Like, I'm just going to have to, I'll just go with like that portion of the fucking roof missing. That's fine. People can worship the worship the peen and it'll be great. It's fine. And then <laughs> and then you can't forget Baby Girl of Doom's uh, her maze, her which is yeah. her which is her house. Tell talk about that for a minute. That is okay. So if for whatever reason you guys end up playing with us, yeah, or or anyone by the name of Baby Girl of Doom. Hide your shit. <laughs> Hide your shit. <laughs> yeah, not necessarily with the rest of us. I accidentally took his shit and he rage quit on me by like I was trying to show him something. I was trying to scare him uh, and do something, and I took everything out of there. And he's just like, "Fuck this! Fuck you guys! I'm done!" And he came back because he had to play some more. But he was in a locked fucking chest, and Mister Dickbag over here has got fucking admin. <laughs> fucking rule on the goddamn server, and locks apparently don't apply to Wildfire One. <laughs> like I had shit that I'd been collecting since day one in the freaking game. Oh, I you know, put it. I put for, it back for further missions and shit. And I put it back because I, I my wasn't... chest as soon as I I logged on and there's nothing there. Well, that so that was that chest. was Baby Girl of Doom. I go to my other chest. Huh? That's not mine. That's not mine. Where's my shit? Yeah, that was Baby huh. Girl of Doom, and we didn't realize that until much later on. In the story, yeah. So, yeah. so I, I asked her for, you know, if she had, you know, like fibers or something. She's like, yeah, just go look at my chest. I was like, okay, cool. Because I didn't have anything. So <laughs> I walk into her front door, and there's a wall to my left, a wall to my right and 10 feet. Or, like, right in front of me, and then a wall to my right. So I go, and I try to, you know, make a left, and boom, there's a freaking dead end. So I go to make a right, boom, there's another freaking dead end. I was like, what the fuck? She's like, yeah, there's not a real door. This is her maze. You're like, fucking, what would you put, you made a maze, this isn't a house? I'm expecting to see a minotaur. I was like, what are you going to do in? Spawn in a minotaur or something? <laughs> and she's like, are those in the game? I was like, it wouldn't surprise me if somehow she gets on there and you know, freaking spawns in like three or four minotaurs. <laughs> so I, I finally find her chest and open it up and it's all my shit. She's like, oh no, that's mine. I was like, uh, yeah, no. Well, we <laughs> realized. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure that was in his. <laughs> Much earlier that day or the day before, uh, before Grizz got on, she she had met, she we were talking, we were playing, and she goes, I don't know how I got all this shit. She said something about like a flower, and that's that's what got me. Because there I was the only one that had found a flower. Yes, and it was you and me that went out and you found it. Mm -hmm. And she said something like about a daisy or a flower of some sort. And I'm, mm -hmm. in my head, I'm thinking, did you get that from Grizzly McBee's uh, his 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 little area? And I, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? Maybe she found one. I, I'm, I'm not gonna. And then, and then she's like, I don't know how I got this. And I'm thinking, oh shit. So she, I'm like, just put it, put it away. If it's, you know, I'm thinking, if it's his, he'll find it, you know, eventually. And then he comes on that day. He's like, there's nothing in my fucking box. My, this game fucking sucks. It despawned all my shit. And then he asks her for fiber, or, you know, some sort of building material. And he, he, she tells him, okay, go to my, go to my, um, her storage room. So he does after, you know, searching for it for about 15 minutes and getting lost and 
So uh, he finds it, and next thing I know, I hear, What the fuck? All my stuff was in this box. Why is my shit? You took my shit, you little thief. So her storeroom quickly it changed. The name changed to Thievery Room. You'll never, you'll never miss that sign. Because that sign is completely glitched, it's glitched. out. <laughs> it's glitched and like, it's constantly like shaking. You see the words. And it's, it's like seeing two two versions of the same word, but it's just shaking back and forth. It's it's hilarious. We've had we've had some good adventures so far. And Baby Girl of Doom cracks me up because she's always like, when she gets into building, she forgets that she has to eat and drink. <laughs> so so just randomly here, shit. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Happened? I died again. <laughs> well, there's one time I, I, she, she's, we're doing something and she's helping me build, we're doing the cathedral and she goes, oh crap, I'm going to die. And I'm like, go get some water quick. <laughs> and before she gets to move, I just watch her character go, yeah, she just fucking fell to the ground. I'm like, how do you not eat? You know, we're, we were swimming to one, from one point to another <laughs> and she's, and she stays underwater. To the point where, like, her 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 air bar, because you get an air bar, like a breathe bar or what, what do you want to call it. And when it goes low, you got to go up and get some more air. But I guess she just forgot that, you know, air is important and uh, kept staying in the water. And she goes, I just died again. I'm like, how'd you die? I drowned. <laughs> how? How? So she had to go in the water and find her body, which was fucking difficult. And we finally found it, and, and she got her shit back, and... Oh, it was it's it's a uh, it's fun watching her die out of nowhere. So you? now it's like every every two minutes or something you'll hear one of us. Hey, you hungry? Need some water? Uh, how you doing? Yeah. Over there? <laughs> how you doing over there? Oh, I'm fine. Two minutes later, shit! I need to get some water. <laughs> it's it's the beauty of you know, it. We all have water skins. We have a plethora of food now with all the water trap or the fish traps and everything. We've got what? A four shit ton of fish slaves. Traps? And that's um, another thing in this game. You get to get, yeah, you get, you get, to get slaves, slaves. And pets. And pets, you know, and you get to name the pets. You can beat the crap out of someone and make them put them on a wheel of pain, and next thing you know, they're like, okay, I'll follow you. And you can. I, I already lost one one uh, thrall. We, mm -hmm. he, I lost him to the giant alligator. The giant alligator. Which. My, I, I gotta admit, though, uh, Leatherhead, my my alligator beat that boss's ass yeah i mean i i literally jumped on top of the highest rock i could find and just i just pebbled it with fucking arrows and there's i mean we haven't beat it yet it's really cool basically i think the whole idea is is find little things in the game uh there's there's you know you got to get that slave bracelet off or that exile bracelet so you can go into whatever uh there's little towns and little areas and there's this crazy people we just found a crazy guy in a temple yesterday in the desert yeah yeah so there's some really we, cool we stuff. found your your god's uh main temple in the jungle we killed the witch bitch in charge of that place mm. she died we beat her to death she died horribly <laughs> your big ass statues kept getting stabbed in the balls and shot thanks yeah. to the arrows uh, lasers everywhere Everywhere, so many lasers, and we we haven't gotten. Any, I don't think we got really close to be even beating the game, but we're uh, oh not even close. We're enjoying it. I mean the 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 oh. crafting and the the building aspect of this game is good alone by itself. Yeah, um, you can. Yeah, you, you we played for weeks already, just uh just doing that until we you know we'll get bored and we'll go okay let's go adventure a little bit. Go out, kill a few things. Go out, find a little, find some new areas, you know. And then, of course, the sandstorms and rain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, and fog, and it, there's it, it's really cool. There's a lot of really good aspects of this game. I'd say get it. I mean, uh, it was free. I don't know if it's free for anything, any other uh, consoles or PC or whatnot. But I'd say get it. It's worth it's worth playing. You know, because you start in the desert, you spawn in the desert, um, and What's weird is like, because I've I've done a few different servers on on my side, um, and we always spawn in the same exact spot, like on Wild Server. Well, with this last one that it was uh, myself and Baby Girl of Doom, spawned in a completely different spot in the desert. Which is interesting. 
Yeah, because we thought that there was only, you know, one spot. Well, there was an update uh, recently, too. Yeah, uh, but where, you know, we spawn on Wild server, it, you know, the only place you can go is, you know, all level one stuff kind of build you up to it. Where it spawned me and Baby Girl of Doom was all level three stuff. Oh, yeah. So we were kind of getting our shit pushed in for, like, the first couple hours. Komodo <laughs> dragons and all shit like that. And mean the Komodo ass dragons, uh, level three fighters, uh, other exiles, that, that giant freaking anaconda. Yeah. Oh, that anaconda was cool. Yeah. You know, it was weak as shit, though. Try and find its head. Yeah, it was weaker than I thought it would be. Yeah. We just walked up to it. We just walked up to it and like you guys were fighting it and I just I just found a weak spot and I just started kicking it, you know. Yeah. Because my weapons were so low on durability, I was like, "You're gonna die!" And I just started kicking and punching it. Uh, if you can play with a friend, I think it would be better. Yo, those, yeah, yeah, you, you'll games. have a lot more fun if you play with a friend. Now, it, there is the um, the online multiplayer. Yeah, uh, and there is a PvP. I think it, just put, it puts you in a, a random server with you know just random people well you can pick servers uh, too yeah but uh you know and like i personally haven't done that yet because you know i'm yeah. always playing with a friend but i i kind of feel that it's gonna be one of those things where you jump on and S someone's gonna, gonna just kill your ass like, oh hey look there there's there's somebody hey you guys want to be friends oh uh, no stab yeah. stab stab yeah yep. stab, yeah yeah. I, I see that. Oh, hey, look, there's an explosive arrow coming right, for, you know, <laughs> right in the forehead. If you do play, stay away from the green walls. Oh, um, yeah, you learned that the hard way. way. You learned, I was you like, learned... wow, this is a pretty wall. Can I interact with it? Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> no, you go. Because we're, we're, we're looking around, and it's me, you, and Baby Girl of Doom, and we're climbing these, like, these little hills and, and you're like, you're like wow wow there's a green wall here i'm like where i'm excited and he goes i'm gonna go talk i'm gonna go mess with it and then i see i hear him go oh look it's an interact it's like a it's like a cut scene he's like don't touch it don't touch <laughs> don't it touch the wall. No, it'll kill you don't touch the wall yeah <laughs> he's, he's you like, go but don't touch the wall i don't know what I, to this time. day i don't know what what that what the cut scene do it showed me kind of walking up into the like the mist, and then just falling over dead. So now we've been avoiding these 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 walls like as much as we could, and they're everywhere. And I think there's a way you can unlock them. I think it has to do with getting the stuff for your bracelet in the game. Yeah, the map is massive. Oh, it's huge. Massive. And there's you know, um, there's places you, you know, can it, go. It, and... it reminds me of. Uh, the Elder Scrolls map. How yeah. massive they are. Yeah. And, I mean, the maps are real pretty good. The map is pretty good, too. I mean, it, it, you can see, like, what's where if you zoom in enough. And you'd be like, oh, there's a little village here. We'll go check that out. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's how we found that, that uh, uh, what is that, temple yesterday? The, the temple, yeah, for your so, god, yeah. That was very cool. It. I will say this. One of the things, it, it's a little difficult to figure out at first. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got to figure out what does what and how and, and you know, uh, what you got to put and where. And then, of course, sometimes certain things, like, you got to put more than one thing. Like, for uh, for compost, you have to use, like, two pieces of rot rotten meat. I didn't know that. It just said, I just thought it said one. And I was always wondering why it didn't work. I mean, to this day, I don't think we under we quite understand how to use the uh, the press, like the, the fluid press. Yeah, we, I think we supposed to make alcohol. <laughs> didn't you name it? You named it something else. You named it like worthless piece of shit or uh, something. Oh like yeah, that. the BS wasted time. Yeah, I thought that was because funny. because you know it it some in some of the machines it tells you what ingredients it needs to make what right. Well, this one so tells us, but it, not very. All it said was leather. A leather so and time leather in there, and he started it. Two days later, still not a damn nothing. thing. So no, I don't, no I don't progress, know. no nothing. I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, we got a, we got, but I did get a um, achievement for using it, even though it did nothing. So, you know, whatever. Boobies. 
That's what should be called. Conan boobies. They, they, they were pretty mad. They jiggle. They do. When, when, when you, they jump. When they walk or jump or... They put a lot a, of time. A lot of detail. Yes. A lot of detail. A lot of time yeah. and detail into these boobies. Like, yeah, but the side boob, though. I mean, that's a mech. Yeah, and we're 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 eunuchs. There's our our characters don't have balls. Yeah, they really don't. Because I mean, when when you first we're born, checked. all you have is a loincloth. It, there's just like it's almost like you're wearing uh, underwear, a diaper, a diaper, a barbarian diaper. And I, I don't want to have to take something off as a barbarian to shit or to pee. I just want to lift a flap and be Fuck done with it. Just do it. You know, you can create your own clan. I know you, you did say that we that you know on your server we we're playing uh, groin fist. Groin fist, yes. And on uh, on my server we are growing fisters. <laughs> it's a it's like a sister clan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think with the clans, like if if there's multiple people on the server with different clans, you can clan war. Yeah, it's it's looking like you can do something like that, or uh, uh, and that's the thing. Like, remember, remember how you were saying um, I could get into your box and all that stuff. Remember, mm. well, when I was joining your game before I got invited yeah, into the clan, you, you I couldn't, couldn't get, because you weren't in the clan. I yeah. couldn't get into you your building. The front door. Yeah, yeah. So, and there's well, the, purge. Talk about the purge. Yeah. I was just getting to that, and mm. then the purge, which I we really I don't can't. I can't really talk too much about it because I don't think we've experienced it yet. We haven't experienced it yet, no. Uh, you know, it's, it's what the purge is, is uh, pretty much once you're you're in the game consecutively for a certain amount of time, uh, then this whole... Something attacks you. Exile force uh, just comes through and tries to eradicate you and everything you have your tries slaves, to destroy your shit. Your, yeah, your, your slaves, your animals, Pets. everything. Um, and you have to defend yourself. From a little bit that I saw online, like the first, uh, first time the purge comes through, it's, it's pretty bad, but it's not, like, make you want to quit the game forever. Bad. Uh, like the forest can be. Yeah. I, I think they're like they start out at like level six, um, which might be pretty bad. Seeing as how the biggest, like say the the fighters that we've gone up against have all been level threes at the most, mm -hmm. um, and I think that's why it takes so much time for them to come. It allows you to level up and get better equipment, better gear, better armor. Um, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I, I I have no clue how long we've got on your server, but I know on my server well, we've on still mine my server the purge is turned off. Ah, that's why. Well, yours it and it's cool because it has a little purge meter at one point it'll tell yeah. you when they're coming, which is, in a way is good and bad. Like I'd like to be surprised, but at the same time, you know, at least we can prepare for it. Yeah. You know, no, we're not playing two game days and we're getting butt fucked by the purge, you know, or whatever. Everything else is out to fuck us. All the different kinds of food and stuff that you can make. Oh yeah, you can. Well, and it even updates when you change the different things you're cooking on. Mm-hmm. You know, the game makes me hungry. Not gonna lie. Right. You know, and now that I know where to go and get, you know, those big beasts. Mm-hmm. That, that we were looking at the, um, on the stove. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, obviously I have to go to the jungle for that. Yeah. Um, and now we know where to go for thick leather, mm -hmm. uh, for better armor, um, and and such. Uh, it's going to make things a bit easier. Um, You're learning. You want to talk about the, the teleport? option as oh admin. yeah well the admin well it's kind of cheating we don't use it often unless we have to it's kind of glitched out right like you want to, since you brought only it up when, only when you use it yeah we'll, we'll go ahead and bring that up talk about it okay. because you're okay. the one that bitches so, about it more than anybody i don't remember what we were doing uh i think we were like super far away from from our home base yeah you know, our little village 
and we all ran out of water, ran out of food, and there was nothing in the middle of BFB where we were. Uh, so I was like, well, I'm just going to teleport us home. I was like, okay, cool. Well, wherever he was trying to teleport us, uh, Tip of the game dick. did not like it. Tip of the dick. Uh, and it wasn't it wasn't necessarily because of that it was an area you died at. It spawns us like a mile and a half up in the sky. And we free fall. I'm not. I'm stuck he, in here. He, he's yeah. He he doesn't move, but everybody else with him just free falls. And it's like they're they're falling and horribly. Because he keeps trying to teleport us to a small ass area. We just keep spawning in the sky and falling. No, no. Let me just fix that for you because you're fucking it up. What happens is they're falling and they're they're getting too far away from the the person like that's in charge of the game, the person who is uh who's who's made the game. And once you're too far from that, the game bitches at you and spawns you next to them. So what happens is they they keep falling, and this fucker gets he's getting mad at me. Like, I'm doing it purposely. I'm stuck in the middle of the fucking air, and he keeps like, you keep fucking spawning me here. I'm like, no, man. Hey, you're just, you're, you're respawning next to me because of the, because of the distance problem. And then, so I'm trying to Did fix you it. that too? Yes. So I'm trying to fix it and go to another area, so it spawns there, and guess what? We're in the fucking air again. And it, and it just happens again and again and again. And this guy's thinking that I'm doing it purposely. No, I'm trying to fix this shit. And he, so we, we and then we finally we finally hit not, I wouldn't say hit the ground, but we finally get on the ground and it takes a minute for everything to kind of load and it, it's kind of a pain. But I mean, hey, we got what we wanted and we did what we need to do and you got your dead body because you got a lot of this, shit. This is why I, I think he might be fabricating this story because on my server that I host, uh, I've never had that issue when I've had to teleport. We always land together on the ground. You only did it once on your server. We've done it. Huh? There was times we did it on my server, and it worked fine. But then, like, I don't know what the fuck happens. I'll do I it. always wound up in the air. Mm-hmm. I know. Falling. No, there was, there was once or twice that it worked out just fine. And it's always, always when I'm like in the middle of the ground. It's when I'm close to water. It seems like when I'm spawning as close to water, is when it does it. We'll have to test it. Spawn close to water. We'll have to test it because it's, yeah. it's interesting. Uh, but uh, like you were saying about the whole distance thing, um, whoever is hosting the server, if you get too far away from them, it won't let you walk anymore. In fact, you'll start walking backwards towards. Yeah, you'll whoever's walk towards whoever's server. hosting. Yeah. Um, or it, your your screen will just freeze, and then it'll teleport you to them. Uh, kind of a pain. Wild didn't quite understand that until he jumped onto my server, and I was like, "Hey, come on, guys, let's go over here." And they're like, "Uh." Hold well, on. No. I was like, well, and, no, I'm and his, going. And this dumbass jumps the gun and goes, and I'm stuck in a house trying to walk to him, and I'm just walking now into you a know wall. How I fell on your server. No. I can't get to the door. I'm stuck in a corner. I'm under the stairs. Come back. That sounds like a you problem. Well, it was a you problem. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. It's very fun, though. Really enjoy the game. If you stick together, it's fine. But, you know, if you, you don't stick, stick together, together, it's fine, and you survive. If you don't, it's not fine, and you die. You're probably dead, you know, and it sucks because, it, in, especially in my game, if you die, you lose all your equipment. You know, not everyone just goes into everyone's uh, chest and takes all their shit. Yeah, I'm looking at you, baby girl. <laughs> and, and how you level up, and the level system's fun. You know, once you figure... Oh, yeah, because you, you've got your, you know, the different... You know, abilities, you know, survival. It's like endurance, strength, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, so you've got that, and then you have your, your attributes, where you learn your different skills. Um, feats. Feats, yeah, okay. Um, where you learn your different skills, you know, about uh, unlocking different building stuff, um, different crafting areas. Um 
I know Baby Girl Doom right now is, you know, in love with the fact that she's unlocked uh, the ability to dye different uh, oh, yeah. things, different colors, and how to make dye. Usually uh, you just find dyes, but if you can make it, that's even better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you have to unlock certain things uh, to be able to upgrade other things, like yeah. to be able to upgrade your weapons. Uh, to get better weapons, you have to unlock certain things. Different materials for building, uh, like buildings yeah. for, you know, houses and shit. Um, I'm hoping that in my game we can build outside of the area we're at and shit just don't disappear like it has been. Yeah. You know, I'm hoping that uh, we just used all of that, the, I don't know, the memory for that area. Like, the further we go, it just forgets that we did that and we can build other shit. We had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm sure you guys have a lot of fun with it. How about you guys tell us what you think if you've played the game? Like, uh, what are your experiences? Definitely. What kind of experiences have you had with this game? Uh, have you had? Do you think it's a good game? Do you disagree with us? Do you agree with us? What's going on there? Anything you want mm-hmm. to review? Watch? I mean, we got the month of movies coming up. I've been buying a shit ton of movies. Thank you, Amazon. And uh, if you guys have any ideas, thoughts, concerns, questions, anything, there's a number you can call. Yeah, just give us a call. Automated voicemail. Uh, just let us know. Give us your comments. Uh, and that number is 559-997-6803. In case you didn't hear it the first time. 559 559- Nine nine seven six eight zero three. All right, everybody. With that said and done, we hope to see you the uh, the next time we do this. It'll be episode one hundred and ten. It'll be a boss episode. First, uh, first big boss episode of this season. What said and guys, said and done, guys. Where we appreciate you watching. We appreciate you listening. We hope you stay nerdy and sexy. Always. Always.